Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This is Ezekiel chapter 2, commentary, verse 1. And he said unto me, he being the Lord, Son of man, stand upon thy feet. Stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me, they and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. For they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. And whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, Ye shall know, oh, yet shall know, that there hath been a prophet among them. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns be with thee. Now, briars and thorns. You know, the Lord wants... You know, the wheat and the tares, well, briars and thorns are tares, right? And when Adam and Eve fell in the garden, what did the Lord said? Thorns and thistles would come up from the ground. Thorns. What did they uh, put on Jesus a crown of when they were getting ready to crucify him? Crown of thorns. You know, what do thorns do? They're worthless. You can't eat them. And if you touch them, they poke you and they make you bleed, right? Well, that's what he's comparing Israel to. Briars and thorns. Though briars and thorns be with thee, and thou dost dwell among scorpions. That don't sound too good, does it? Be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. And thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. Boy, that word rebellious comes up a lot, don't it? Verse 8. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee, be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. And when I looked, behold, an hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentations and mournings, and woe. Uh, it don't sound like a book I'd want to be uh, having. You know, that was the thing about the prophets. Uh, very, very rarely in the latter times did the prophets ever speak good things. Usually it was judgment and uh, bad things. People, things that people didn't want to hear. Just sort of like today, you know? Why do you think Joel Osteen is a millionaire or whatever? Why? Why do they make, you know, he tells people things they want to hear. God wants to bless you. God loves you. God loves everything about you. You know, he wants you to be rich and healthy and wealthy and wise. And, you know, God's your genie. Rub that magic lamp and uh, out pops uh, Barbara Eden. I dream a genie, right? 
Boy, that would be just about, yeah, every guy's fantasy just about. I am uh, definitely uh, showing my age there, but uh, yeah, you know, rub that lamp and out pops, uh, you know, 50 gold bars, you know, and a mansion on the beach. Yeah, exactly. That's what everybody wants, right? Well, I'll let you know a little secret. God's not your genie. We are here to serve him. He's not here to serve us. And uh, if I got behind Joel Osteen's pulpit and taught about that, I'd be escorted out by uh, security faster than you could say, man, who was that guy? So, whatever. All right, well, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' precious name, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor in His name. Amen.